and welcome back to Visit Fowl Coast. I'm on Empress Drive at the moment. I'm on Empress Drive, which is just at the side of, I think that's the cliffs. I always get these side streets terribly muddled up, but we're at North Shore. We're at North Shore and we've just been to have a look at the latest ones to be completed at Swish Apartments. And you might remember I went to see the first tranche of completed very swish accommodation earlier on this year and I've just been back to do the last four that he'd, he'd not finished at the time. Beautiful. Just makes me want to decorate, that's the only problem. Poor Kevin will be saying, oh Lord, where have you been now? <laughs> so now it's dinner time and I'm off. I'm off to find something to eat. And we will, we will complete this today in Blackpool video. So before we get any, any further, any much further, please make sure that you've subscribed. And when you do subscribe, hit that bell and you'll get all the notifications for all the new videos that we upload. Because we've got quite a few, well, we have next week, but we've generally got quite a few interesting things planned because I try to, I try to sort of plan interesting things in and then I work around them and do other stuff to, to fill the gaps in, as you might say. So currently, I'm looking for something to eat. I've got, I've got a plan. I've just been to Cafe 47, which is on Homefield Road. Homefield Road, Homefield Avenue, that one down there. Um, which I think somebody had recommended that I go and try. And they closed on a Thursday. So that's not good, is it? That's not good. So I've got a, I've got a second choice. Um, I think we'll, we'll go and investigate that. I think we need a tram for my second choice. And don't forget to make sure that you've signed up for your newsletter as well. I know I keep telling you to do it, but... On a Tuesday every week, I send out an email newsletter, which is full of all the stuff that I've updated in the previous week. So if you find that you're missing stuff on social media and that when you go onto Facebook and whatnot, that, that all the interesting stuff that you want to know is missing, but all the rubbish that you don't want to know is all there. If you get your email newsletter, you'll get all the updates. And then on a Thursday, each week, I send out a, a what's on guide. Now, if you're not local and you don't live in the, the Falk Coast area, you might not be interested in that week by week by week. So you can, you can just delete that one. Um, but leave it, leave it subscribed because you'll get them both and you'll get everything that's interesting. So we're going to go to Blackpool now. We're going to go and find some food. I've got a, I've got a list in my pocket. I've got me, I've done my homework, and I've got my list of everything that I want to cover. So I'm all ready. I'm all ready for a day making videos for you. Well, an afternoon, an afternoon in this lovely weather. What a gorgeous day! I think it's the 10th of October today, isn't it? Let's have a look at my clock. Uh, yeah, 10th of October. It's beautiful. Last week when I came to Blackpool, it was a, a no, sorry, it was a lovely afternoon. It was a lovely afternoon. And I said to you at the time that there was supposed to be an Indian summer. And that's exactly what we've had. So it rained yesterday, if I remember rightly, yesterday morning. And we've had a little bit of rain since I last, since I last did today in Blackpool. But by and large, it's been like this, it's been warm, it's been sunny. Anybody that's been on holiday this week, you've dropped on a right week. Because um, it's been gorgeous. So you'll, uh, you'll definitely be going home with uh, rosy cheeks if you've been, been here this week, that's for sure. So for our next assignment, we're off to... We're off to South Shore, we're off to another, that's a nice van. We're off to another, um, 
Go on, hotel at South Shore, a pet friendly hotel this time. But I thought we'd just stop by for Coyote Ugly, which is opening. Uh, let's have a look. Opening on, on, no, that's the auditions, Thursday the 24th of October. So if you want to be a, a showgirl, <laughs> um, they're auditioning on Saturday the 12th and Sunday the 13th of October. I won't be putting my name down for that, I can tell you. That's not, uh, that's not my thing at all. I wonder if we can have a little bit of a nosy. Do you think we could have a peep without getting shouted at? I bet they've got all kinds of people nosy in here and trying to look round. Oh, now then, look at that. That's posh, isn't it? That's going to look really good. So they put the bar right in the middle. Um, so this is this is the the stairs look that you you go up to the up to the performance bar when you when you're dancing when you've been enrolled as a showgirl. It's posh that. It's going to look well good. I love this bright red. I think that's really nice. I'd love to know exactly what colour it is. So that's going to be good. That's going to be good, that. Not that I'll ever be dancing on a bar. <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> oh dear me, I'd probably fall off knowing me. Has anybody ever been in here? This put above. It's uh, one thing I've not been in, that one. And there's Cluedo HQ, which is a live escape game downstairs. See if there's any sign of a tram. No, there's not, because I'm going down to South Shore. So I'm going to get on a tram at some point. I've got my 24 hour tram ticket. Well, all day tram ticket. Somebody asked me a week, a week or two ago about tram passes when you're coming on holiday. So you can just ask the conductor on the, the tram or the driver on the bus and you can get passes in various different permutations that last for however many days. Um, and then you can use them on the buses and the trams, which are good. Have I already said that once? Middle of summer. It's beautiful. Oh, I love the day. Blackpool amusement. Somebody else asked about toilets. There is a there is an article on our visit file course website which tells you where all the toilets are. I'm an expert on toilets. Just reminded me because there's some in Blackpool amusements, apparently. You always need to know where toilets are when you're coming for a day trip somewhere, don't you? It's the first thing you want, toilets and a cafe. What a gorgeous day. Have you been to the circus? I live in a circus. <laughs> Morky and Mr. Bull. And of course, last week we went to see the people at Showtown because they've got the new um, Charlie Caroli collection secured for Blackpool. Oh, well, can't believe how nice it is. I wonder how long it's going to last. Speaking of weather, the hurricanes in uh, Florida are awful. I'll only be glad you don't live in uh, Florida. He looks like a cowboy.
I thought you might enjoy a little walk along the prom from wherever you are. So pop a comment underneath and tell us where you're watching from. Because we like to know, we like to know what kind of a audience we've got and where people are and where people live. It's interesting to see to see what reach we've got. I've got a coat on, well, a jacket, but it's even unfastened, middle of October. Thought to stop like this until next summer, didn't it? Rain at night, and then we find during the day, that would be nice. Always busy. Well, I'm glad there's not a tram past me. Let's have a look, mate. Oh, it's there, look. I've just missed it. I was going to walk to Central Pier tram stop and get on. It looks like I've just, I've just missed it. I'll have to carry on walking. It'll do me good. I need the exercise for my back. Little pigeon looking for his next bite to eat. Oh, it's not in service, that's all right. If there's not one past me when I get to Central Pier, I'll uh, go across and wait. I've heard these crows, there's one on here, look. And when they call, they sound just like a telephone. I can't really mind it whether it's a, a regular crow call. Listen, can you hear it? Say it again. Say it again, Mr. Crow. No, it's not obliging me. There's one that, in particular, that lives near us, and it just for all the world sounds like a phone ringing. Unless it is copying a phone ringing. Oh, that's blinding on that fridge. It's bouncing. It's bouncing straight at me. That's better. It's a very amazing place, isn't it? Hello, Papa. He says, no, I'm tired, I'm going to sleep. Not interested. Bet the donkeys are on the beach today. Last time we saw the donkey guy, he said that they took it very much day by day until um, until Christmas, eh? Snap, filming you, filming me. Hello. Can I ask you a filming, very quick filming. question? You can, yeah. Social media. So yeah. we are Elite Competitions. Oh, right, you're Elite Competitions. Competition company. Right, yeah, That's I know you. Us. Yes, I have. Okay. And so you're giving away that. We are. Yeah. So if someone can win this Lamborghini right. next week for £1.39, right. I'm asking people, would they take the car or the cash alternative of £150,000? I'd have 150 grand. What would you spend it on? Ooh, ooh, now A lot then. of things. That's a good question, that. What would I spend it on? Well, a car would depreciate, but you, the 150 would always be worth 150, wouldn't it? Well, these particular models, the Hurricane Papavantes, are actually going up in value. Oh, are they? Well, I might have the car. <laughs> I might have the car instead. I might have the car instead, because I've got quite a heavy right foot. <laughs> Um, days. Yeah, yeah definitely, definitely. Yeah. I'm anybody's for a for a bit of a fast car. Yeah. Well, well there we go. One pound thirty nine. Perhaps not literally. Could be yours. Just check us out on Facebook, and YouTube. We've got a website. Do you want to? Uh, oh, bless. Have a sit in it? Do you want me to tell you who I am? Go on. <laughs> who are you? 
Go on. Um, I, d I publish Visit Felt Coast, so I'm um, doing a, a vlog for today in Blackpool. So you've just there bagged you yourself a bit of free publicity. Lovely. Hello, hello everyone. <laughs> nice, it's worked out there, hasn't it? Can I just say, so, the, the Felt Coast is extremely lovely. I'm not from here, so I'm not biased. Oh, I see. The sun is shining, the people are out. It's a great time to be here. Come visit the Fowl Coast. <laughs> so on your video, anybody that's watching this, you need to follow Visit Fowl Coast on YouTube and you'll yes. see this woman. Where, where should they go? YouTube, Visit Fowl Coast. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thanks, Luke. Puts that in the edit. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it better leave that in the edit or he's in trouble. <laughs> I know I do annoy elite competitions. They give houses and things away. In fact, they asked me to do a, a video looking around one. And uh, Kevin, Kevin wasn't keen. But yeah, I quite like a car. I quite like a car or a 150 grand. Be nice, that wouldn't it? Just imagine how much Lego you could buy for 150 grand. <laughs> you could practically buy a Lego factory. That's the term I've just missed. If I'd not been still talking to them, could have got on that, couldn't I? Never mind. We'll carry on walking. We'll carry on walking. Fish and chips. Old time photos. We had to do that one day, didn't we? That could be interesting. I think you need an accomplice when you're doing something like that. You need somebody to you need somebody to film with you. Spider-Man's still sat up there. I must have got cramp, he's never moved for about four years. Rolling back the prices. I keep threatening to go and have a game bingo in happy days, but that's a job for a that's a job for a rainy day, that's I think. Not when it's beautiful like this. So nice to go inside playing bingo. I'm not used to walking this way down the prom. I'm usually walking back the other way, aren't I? We'll have a look at these next block of shops. Photos? What does that mean? Don't put the hats on to take a photo. <laughs> if you want to put a hat on, put it on to wear it. That's an Illuminations van, that one, I think. It's like they're doing some... Oh, it looks like he's putting light bulbs in. I bet that's an never-ending job replacing light bulbs in them. Don't fall off your steps, mate. somebody in a high face and I immediately want to know what they're doing. I'm not saying I'm nosy or anything like that. Warning, adult rock. Warning. <laughs> yeah, what they ought to say is warning, rude rock. It's not rock for adults, it's, well, it is rock for adults. It's rude rock. Oh, past 10p bingo or something. Wide line, 73, 73. Yellow, 3 and 2, 32. 32. Blue, 5 and 8, 58. Blue, 4 and 7, it's 47. It's full as well. Look at this. Yellow, 3 and 5, packed. 35. <laughs> Wide line, 6 and 7, 67. 6 and 7, 67. <laughs> Knock on the door, number four. Just looking at these two kids here, they've got a Blackpool Transport tram ticket and they, they do a special one for kids. And they've got, I think they've got different animals on them. 
There's somebody near me one day getting one. Getting one printed off. Just ask the conductor. Oh, we're at the next tram stop. I think we'll go over here and look for a tram. <laughs> he looks as if he's just about ready for falling to sleep. He's just nearly swallowed me. Across the seafront sand dunes. Oh, isn't that lovely? That is absolutely gorgeous. It's like summer. In fact, it's better than summer. Summer turned into a bit of an on event, didn't it? That's a tram coming this way. There must be another one corresponding. I shall go to the tram stop. I shall go to the tram stop before I end up walking all the way down to Waterloo Road. It must be a full time job cleaning all the sand out of the tracks. Because they're not very deep, are they? Look, they're only, I don't know, an inch, an inch and a half. And this is where they used to go to Rigby Road, to the old Rigby Road tram, st tram sheds. No longer. They're nice, the old school trams. But the new ones are much more comfortable to ride on. Even I don't feel sick on an old tram. Even I don't feel sick. And that's saying something. So which one's this? Oh, I thought that sounded like one coming back and it's, it's that one we've just seen going. This is Manchester Square tram stop, this one. Going to, I'm going to take a peel for a moment on this lovely looking bench. <laughs> Change my mind for a new one. I've just realised down here I am to where I'm supposed to be going. So I'm going to, I'm going to walk. The steps will do me good. It will do me back good. So I think I might. Oh, my, 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 step, my stepometer's just twittered and said that I've done me daily target I set my I set mine to a realistic ambition of 6,000 steps a day because much as I walk a long way when I'm doing videos and stuff if I'm having a desk day and I'm and I'm typing I struggle to do 6,000 but sitting at a desk does nothing for my back so I need to be, I need to be up and moving and walking. It's just a shame that aren't more I was in a day. Right, I'm going to rejoin you when we get down to our next location. I've arrived at the bit of prom that I wanted to be at. There's only one stop, so it weren't really worth getting on the tram, were it? And the beach is beautiful. Oh, it just looks so lovely. Just look at that. It's really gorgeous. Just breathe in and fill your lungs full of that ozone. I'll turn around and then you can see the tower at the back of me. I'm not able to see a thing, so I'll line my eyes. Look, there you go. That's all Blackpool Central Beach, all laid out in front of you. Goodness me. I know I said it several times, but it really is lovely. I was going to go on the beach, but it looks as if it's a bit um, soft. Let's go and investigate. <coughs> so next stop today, next stop on Thursday the 10th of October, is a vlog about another hotel. As I said this time it's a 
it's a pet friendly one so if you've already subscribed and you've got all your notifications enabled when I upload it and it goes live on, on uh, YouTube, you'll get the notification, won't you? You'll be able to watch that one. So I'm, I'm interested in seeing that one because we, we do like a poach. We do, we do. I'm going to turn this around now and then you can have a paddle. Get your socks off. Get your socks off and then you can have a paddle. Are you ready? Oh, isn't that lovely? That's just gorgeous. And look, because it's not windy, it's not carrying loads of sand and it's not carrying loads of brown sludge. It just looks like clean water. Which way is it blowing? I think it's blowing, yeah, it's blowing that way. So it's sort of blowing slightly northwest, which is unusual. You can see, look, by the angle of these waves. You see that they kind of come in, they're coming at me that way. Lovely day. I'm going, to I'm going to have to just turn this off a second and do a TikTok video because of course we're on TikTok now as well. Um, I'm very new to TikTok and I'm learning as I'm going along, but we're on TikTok so you can join us over there as well for different content, different to what you get on YouTube. I'll come back to you in a second. Only in Blackpool. I've kept passing this bus and wondering what it is. And it is a bar, would you believe? It's a bar. I saw it on Facebook last week and they were promoting that they were showing that you could go there and watch the fireworks. And I've kept walking past it and thinking, what's that? So the inside of it is obviously all kitted out as a as a bar and then the seats at the front you can use on a day like today well 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 only in Blackpool I have to say the people of Blackpool are very entrepreneurial <laughs> they'll come up with all kinds all kinds of ideas and all kinds of things for earning a living and making money it's quarter to four now and it's still warm. I can't believe how lovely it is. I've got one last step, one last step, one last stop on today's Today in Blackpool. And then I'm off home. I'm off home on the tram. I need to walk down to Waterloo Road. We're going to go to Brooks Collectibles. I've kept trying to go to Brooks Collectibles. We're going to go in. Have a look at the site of the old Hearts Woolworth shop that's been demolished and we're going to go to Brooks because each time I've done an update at Hearts I've kept saying I was going to go in Brooks and it's always been closed and I've checked, I've messaged him this morning and he's open so we're going to go and meet Mark. I think I'm going to have to have a drink of pot before I go in there and I'm absolutely gasping. I'm getting a right dab on. I'm glad I didn't come out wrapped up to the middle of, to the middle of winter. I think it's about five o'clock now. Let's have a look at the clock and see what time it is. Let's have a look. It is, it's ten to five. They'll be saying at Rabbit Towers, where is she? Is she coming home today? <laughs> Let's dodge across here. And it's still lovely. It's going cool though, I might tell you. There's, uh, there's a nip. You can tell there's not much cloud cover. It's going to be cold tonight, I reckon. So I've just been to the Toy Museum. If you've never been to the Toy Museum, you've never lived. You need to go and have a look at that. And then I went to have a look and see what's to do at the Old Heart site. So we've got lots of videos coming up for you. And I've also got some videos from Fleetwood as well for you to watch. So there's plenty of content coming up in the next few days and that's my tram. So I'm off back to Rabbit Towers and I'm gonna go and upload this video. Hopefully we'll manage to get it online for you at a reasonable time of day. I'm going to download 
I'm going to download the videos off my DJI Javi on the tram and see if we can manage see if we can manage to do half the job before I even get back to Cleveland. That'd be good, wouldn't it? That'd be good. Oh, we're going by North Station by the look of it. Um, so until next time, I'll see you later. Bye for now.